What does it mean to you guys to you know, finish undefeated in, in the league and now you, you have something pretty big to play for next week? Yeah, I mean, this has been what we've wanted since January. Um, it's really cool to see the work paying off. Um, still got one more. But, you know, this team's really fought through a lot um, during the spring and, you know, just seeing everybody uh, bond together. And it's just been really cool to see that and everybody actually, um, you know, taking the mentality to be 1-0 and each week and be uncommon and be a team player. Um, and I really felt like everybody's been bought into that and it's, it's paying off. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, just going off of what he said, you know, last year wasn't, it didn't go the way we thought it was going to go. So just this year, we just, we knew we had all the players. It was just whether we was going to come together or not. And we, I feel like we was able to do that so far. So we're just going to take everything that's been going into next week and really finish the job and hopefully go undefeated conference for real, for real. How big was it? Coach mentioned, you know, the way last night's game went, there was still a, a path for you guys to get in the championship game, even with the loss. But how much did you guys just want to not even worry about it, take matters in your own hand and get it done today? Yeah, I mean, we knew it starts with us, us only. Um, we're really not worried about anybody else. Um, we're just trying to, you know, we obviously we wanted to win. Um, we didn't really look for any way out of if we lost or not. But I mean, we knew it's about us and us only. And, um, you know, that's the only way we're going to get to the championship. So. What was the question again? Just about not worrying, not letting computer polls or anything, but taking matters in your own hands and just winning today. Yeah, just uh, we, we taught not to bite the cheese. Don't let none of that take us away from the, the true goal. That's just to play for your brothers and get the win. And I feel like as long as we do that, then anybody who says anything, it doesn't really matter. You talk about playing for your brothers, and obviously you had some guys get banged up today, most notably your quarterback. How hard is it to regroup when you see one of your guys carted off the field like that and finish off the game, finish off what you started? Yeah, I mean, injuries happen in football. Um, it's just the next man up mentality. Everybody knows that. Um, and, you know, everybody everybody trusts everybody on this team. I mean, Kevin going in, he's a really good quarterback, and I hate it for Preston. But, you know, next man up, and we're excited. So keep going. Anything extra for scoring three touchdowns on senior day? It's a good feeling. Um, obviously, all thanks to God. I mean, it's a real feeling. You know, it's starting with always, you know, hating Navy when I went to Army and ending that way. Um, it's a good feeling, you know, on a senior day, three touchdowns. And But, I mean, the O, the o line really made those happen. Um, so I really couldn't do it without them, but it was a good feeling. Ahmad, what's this year been like for you watching, uh, you know, this defense kind of emerge into one of the nation's best, but also you kind of started to play a little bit at the end of last year, and now you're racking up tackles on tackles and really, you know, stepping up. Yeah, this has been a journey, a lot of ups and downs, you know, mentally, physically that I've been uh, going through. But I'm just, I'm just glad as long as the team is moving successfully, then I feel like that you know, I'm, I'm gonna be able to move successfully too. Cause the team succeeding, then all the personal goals are gonna come. So, as long as like as long as the team just doing what we got to do, I, I I can honestly care less what happens to myself. Coach Lashley said the Navy offense fits for a guy with your skills, and obviously you have nine tackles, a couple of tackles for loss. Why does your skill set work against an offense like that? Honestly, I just feel like it's more of just repetitiveness because I played that uh, type of offense a lot in high school. So just. And then I like to tackle, so I like to tackle. So that's just what I had to do. And I was just able to, you know, just go off the slots, just look at each slot, and then the other one gonna tell me what I was going, I had to do. So I was just able to see, and it's just whether or not I made the play. And I feel like I made a few plays today. What do you guys have to do to, you know, just be locked in, I guess, this week and, and put everything towards, uh, you know, beating Tulane now? I mean, same thing we've been doing every week. Um, just come ready to work each week. Uh, be detailed, be disciplined. Um, yeah, I think guys are really bought in, and you know, we just it's the same thing every week, just to go one and zero at the end of the week. So, do you take any kind of extra motivation from last year's game at all, and then trying to, you know? I mean, yeah, last year was a little tough. Uh, they handed it to us pretty good, but I mean, this is a year, new year. Um, last year is way behind us, and you know. This is a different year and we're a different team this year and we're excited to see what we can do.
they just got to focus on what it is now because the team they played, like I said, the team that they played last year ain't the same team. So we just got to do what we've been doing that led us here. You know, we went 8-0, so it's no point of really changing too much. So we just got to keep being locked in and just focus on the next door. Tyler, do you, do you allow yourself to uh, look at anything that things that this team has accomplished in the context of a larger program, like the first time y'all ever won eight conference games in a season, stuff like that? I mean, yeah, it's really cool to be a part of, you know, I've been a part of really good teams here um, the last five years, um, but to be, you know, making records or what you talked about with being 8-0, no, that's something super special, and especially finishing November um, undefeated, because I know in the past, that's been really big and we've never accomplished it. And, you know, going what, what 4-0 in November was really big and obviously 8-0, that's huge. Um, just excited to be around this group, um, really bought in group and just the guys really, you know, this team has been awesome to be with, so. Obviously your focus is on what's ahead in New Orleans and then whatever bowl game you guys go to. But to your point, you went 4-0 in November, undefeated at home, undefeated in conference, 10 wins. Up to this point, what are you most proud of with this team? I'm just proud of like all of us coming together because there's a lot of a lot of new faces that came in, freshmen, <clears> transfers, <throat> and just a lot of people. It's also a lot of people like because we have a lot of skill, great skill, and at one uh, one single position. So just the fact that we're all able to look past that and realize we just want to win, and we all just working with uh, working together and not letting our egos get the best of us. So I feel like. Since we were able to do that, that's why we was, we was able to have a great season so far. With everything, you know, it would have been easy to have a big celebration making the championship game, you know, all the achievements we've said. Was there not one because as big of a goal as this was and as nice as this is, that wasn't the big goal for you guys this season? To go to the, the championship? Well, just like it seemed like there wasn't much of a big celebration right. after the game. Is that just because this isn't the game you want to celebrate after winning, kind of? Yeah, I mean, we're going to celebrate after each win because to win a college football game, like Coach Lashley said, it's super hard. Um, I don't care who you're playing. To win a college football game is hard. Um, we're going to celebrate this one, but, you know, guys know that we got to keep working. Um, you know, tomorrow you'll see guys back watching film, getting ready for the next game. And that's, an that's another thing about this team, just everybody's locked in and, you know, we have fun. But at the same time, we're, we're wanting to work and really accomplish these goals because they're really important to us. And I think that's what you see throughout this team. Who broke the rock in the locker room today? Big man right there. Bam, bam. What was that like for you? It was great. I mean, there's so many guys on this team that could have broke the rock. This guy sitting next to me. Um, but I felt Coach Lashley had a little sense of hey, this is the last time doing it, so why not give it to Tyler? Um, <laughs> But I appreciate it, um, especially being senior night or senior day. Um, last time playing here, it's a real feeling. And I just can't thank him enough for that. Uh, was the lifting of PJ after the touchdowns planned, or was that just kind of in the moment? I mean, yeah, that's kind of been my thing. I don't know if y'all have seen in the past. Um, I know like everybody likes to lift up the running back or receiver or whatnot. But my thing was I kind of wanted to lift up the lineman. I used to do it with Alon Ali back in the day. Um, because it's really celebrating them. They're the ones that make it work. Um, they're in the trenches. And if it weren't for them, there wouldn't be any touchdowns. Or so, and it sucks that we get all the glory, but that's why I'm trying to give it back to them and do that with them.